Good afternoon, I'm Alice Hewitt and you're watching Mediaplex Live at One. If you were trying to access the Canada Revenue Agency website yesterday, you were probably feeling a little frustrated. The CRA abruptly pulled the plug because of an online security loophole, which lets people see encrypted personal information set between computers. The problem is still being investigated and consideration will be given to taxpayers unable to file due to the interruption. Windsor's waterfront is already beautiful, and as Murad or Zinchlioglu explains, there are plans to make it even better. Windsor's riverfront sculpture garden will be brought to life this September with the debut of Waves Festival. Headed up by the City of Windsor Parks and Rec Department, the festival will host a variety of culturally based projects based around sculptures and locations in the park. With a total budget of $100,000, the city is currently seeking applications for creative talents of any ilk for funding grants up to $4,000. The deadline for submissions is April 30th. The festival will run on September 26th and 27th with an estimated 25 projects spread across the riverfront from Ambassador Bridge to the Art Gallery of Windsor. Respected musician and educator Brent Lee has already been tapped for the event's closing. For more information, adjust your web browser to citywindsor.ca. For Mediaplex News, I'm Rogers in Schleoglu. Saturday's Take Back Your Drugs Day, and as Constable Ryan Burney explains, they have had previous success with this program. Okay, our event is this weekend, Saturday, April 12th, and it's our Take Back Your Drug Day. And this is a day where uh, members of the community can bring out their unwanted medication, expired medication, or those uh, narcotics that you just want out of your house. And what we do is we allow you to attend the Devonshire Mall near the Keg parking lot, and you bring those drugs back and we dispose of them properly and it's kind of a two-fold event where you can also bring back those sensitive documents and we'll have Sintas on scene uh, from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Devonshire Mall where you can get those sensitive documents uh, shredded for a five dollar donation bring in a banker's box full of shredding material and uh, and we'll take care of that uh, for you. The Sportsplex at St. Clair College opened in style with a huge event Sandy No reports. Over 1,200 athletes and 260 coaches from across Ontario filled the new sportsplex last weekend for its first ever event. From April 3rd to the 6th, the Ontario Provincial Championship for Gymnastics was held in its state of the art triple gym, hosted by Rose City Gymnastics. Spectators, athletes, coaches, and judges had the opportunity to experience the brand new facility. Christina Gatto, Director of Athletics and Sports Development at the college, said the event was a success. You know, it's gone amazingly well. We've had um, wonderful comments um, from the participants uh, as well as the general public coming in to watch the event. So um, there's just been a steady stream of people in, um, a huge number of volunteers, um, both on our side and the gymnastics side. Um, and everyone is really, ha has been pleased with the building. It's, so it's uh, gone very, very well. The Sportsplex has a total of 75,000 square foot of space, including a triple gym, fitness center, aerobics room, and an elevated running track. Tom and Diane Deslip, both the women's head coach at Rose City Gymnastics, said the event is promoting more than just the college. It's promoting the sport in um, the city. It's also promoting Windsor as a great place to be, um, promoting the complex. Um, we are highlighting our athletes, and um, it's a fundraiser for us because we are the only not-for-profit gym centre in uh, Windsor. Okay. During the summer, students will be able to use the sports facility and will continue to be completely open for all St. Clair students in September. I'm Sandy No, reporting for Mediaplex News Now. Windsor Fire and Rescue is hiring. Fire Chief Bruce Montone says they are creating a pool of potential, potential candidates, but there will not be any permanent hires until next spring. The deadline to apply is tomorrow. Montone says they will probably get over 1,000 applications. Moving on to weather, today that temperature is 17 degrees with isolated showers. There will be cloudy periods overnight with a high of 5. Those cloudy periods will continue into tomorrow with a high of 16. I'm Alice Hewitt and you've been watching Mediaplex Live at One.